Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Fire Samurai, Holy Heroes. <laughs> so coincidentally, I did a samurai video uh, a couple weeks back where I talked about the samurais because I know a lot of people had questions about them. Um, and now that the that June is going to be the Hall of Heroes uh, samurai, I want to talk a bit more about him specifically. I touched on, upon him quite a bit in that video. You guys can check that out, but we'll talk more about him today and let you guys know whether or not it's worth the farm. So first and foremost, now with all the heroes, with the setup the way that it is, where you just do a stage and get 25 pieces or whatever, naturally, even if you're not going to use it, I would get one no matter what. Also, now with the new way to get legendary scrolls, if you guys are looking for extra fodder that you don't care about, um, and let's say you have a fire samurai or a samurai that's already fully skilled, then by all means, grab some of these and get legendary scrolls galore. <laughs> okay, now uh, now that we got past the important stuff, uh, let's talk about this unit as a whole and where he comes into play. So, with Flame Slash, his third skill, he attacks all enemies two times with Flaming Sword Energy. Each attack has a 40% chance uh, to decrease the enemy's attack power for two turns. This skill has a 50% chance to activate the Sword of the Supreme Sky Wolf. Um, second skill is Continuous Damage, which lets you know that he's good for PvE. Um, you know, in PvE situations where you can apply Continuous Damage, of course, specifically like TOA. Um, this skill has a 30% chance to activate uh, the SOS. And then Wheel, uh, of course, quickly draws a sword to attack the enemy, decreasing the defense for two turns. Now, the beautiful thing about uh, June is, again, like, he is the easiest samurai to build, the easiest one. Um, outside of, you know, the light and dark one, which a lot of people don't have, but he is absolutely the easiest samurai to build. I don't have any runes on him at all, um, but, you know, on these two units at all, but he's the easiest to build. He also um, has some really, really good multipliers, which you guys can definitely check out at the Summoner's War Wiki, uh, the Summoner's War Wiki uh, They show all the multipliers for all the units, and you guys can see exactly how hard these units hit. Now... I have seen and been personally one shot at seen team my team my personal team one shot a lot uh, specifically in guild battle by these units when samurais are built well they can hit very 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 hard and then with the double hit um, for the skill two on their third skill things can get pretty nasty pretty quickly so you know when you look at the third skill here it's pretty retarded and the aoe attack break is huge so like i said if you guys are looking for some kind of like fire attacker for like a toa composition uh june can be very viable especially if you decide to put him on despair um you know in toa normal of course with the aoe attack break and then you have the defense break on one um it could be really really nice now for toa hard i don't know if having the continuous damage on two would be enough for me to just go ham with them uh for toa hard but if i was looking for some kind of damage dealer maybe a farmer or something uh the june could and would come into play um if i wanted to build him at this point in my summer war career does that make sense so that's where he comes into play if you guys are also looking for an attacker for like a giants b8 team um or potentially even an attacker for dragons i mean you could even put him in there but he doesn't really bring much utility for dragons because he doesn't have like beneficial effect removal or anything like that however um you know again with the aoe's and stuff that can help so you know the samurais are super duper niche so, you know, especially like when you guys get into like the water and wind, if you guys are trying to build wind or water samurais, because they take a lot of skill ups, A, and B, the stat requirements for samurais to be really, really good is very, very high. Um, so there's, you know, pros and cons to getting the samurai from the Hall of Heroes. But like I said, either way, you guys should get the fodder. Um, I wish they had more utility because samurais in any game are really, really cool. Um, but unfortunately, I mean, they are what they are. And like I said, super niche units, you know, like if you guys have a light or a dark samurai, um, I would absolutely farm these to get fodder because the light and the dark samurai have a bit more utility. Um, and they're relatively, well, a little bit easier to build than other samurais per se. Um, but that's definitely what I would do. But either way, like I said, guys, all of the sams are good. So whether you're just trying to get June just to have one to put in storage for later, um, or like let's say you're in GB8 and you just want an attacker or you're looking for some kind of farmer or you're looking for another AOE damage unit for TOA or something, um, he, June could definitely fit that role. Other than that, though, um, all in all, like I said, just get one, put it in storage, and use the rest for fodder or continue building your samurais that you guys are looking at. And that's my 
That's that's my overall opinion um, on these units. Again, though, if you have the runes, if you have the ability to build it, then go ham and you will be very impressed uh, by the numbers or the amount of damage uh, that the Fire Samurais can put out. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, this is your boy TMG. Bring you guys another video. If you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the box below. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.